Hey guys, it's Dakota or Radiation Gaming 7 back here for another video. And in the background, guys, I am playing some Minecraft and I just want to show you guys a new update. And in case you guys didn't know, you may be saying, Why am I cheating in my world? I switched it over to uh, a community world, so I will be in creative. I will talk about that later. But I just want to say, Welcome to my first episode of the podcast. I will be doing this one solo just to kind of show you guys what's been going on. I will invite some people to this. But basically, I'm just playing some background background gameplay in the back. I'm not actually playing anything. I'm just going to sit here and talk. And it's just going to be a nice, peaceful time. Um, So a few things I want to talk about. Just a lot been going on. I guess it's just time to talk about what I think is going on. And not really, you know, it's just more of just me talk to you guys kind of time. And that's all that really matters is that we're just talking. And having a good podcast, so uh, I I think the first guest I want to bring on is definitely this is a gaming and then viralized, and then we'll see from there on out. But pretty much anyone that wants to join me in the podcast will be allowed, and I'm asking you guys to come join me in these podcasts. So if there's certain people that want to come join, that'd be fine with me. But you have to be somewhat big on YouTube. I want to be podcasting with someone decently sized on YouTube. So, uh, sorry if you're small, I know that's unfair, but, yeah, so, I don't know what we're really doing in a podcast, this is my first time, but, I got prepared, I have coffee and everything, so you know this is going to be legit, got it right here, and, yeah. So, today I was kind of just like wondering to myself on how big it hit me, I'm not a kid anymore. And that really hit me today. I don't know why it did, but it did. And I realized that. I'm gonna have to start taking responsibilities. And I need to quick turn this off. Let's see if I can. Okay, there you go. So, I just realized I'm not a kid anymore, and it's kind of sad because my childhood is going away. I'm getting a job next year. And it just seems like I'm turning into someone else. I have to start making choices, and these choices are going to affect what I'm doing when I'm older. And I need to make the right choices. I can't fail. This is the most important time to really like, do it. And not the most important, I'd say, probably around like 18 when I really have to decide. But I'm starting to get to like an older stage, and I just want to say I don't want to get older. I love being a kid. It's just so nice and it's going away I'm not gonna be a kid forever anymore and that's just something I have to accept and it's sad because I mean everyone wants to be a kid longer if they can and that's true so it's just I always wished hey I can't wait till I'm older I can't wait till I can do this and really I really wish I hadn't wished that I mean it's one of those things that it seems so cool and then you realize I'm older What's to do now? And it's just kind of depressing to see my childhood go away because it's one of those things you just don't get back. You don't get a second chance at or anything. So the fact that I ever just kind of wanted me to get older was weird to me because I am older now and it's something I don't like. I don't like being older. I wish I was younger and everything. I wish I could go back to at least when I was like 12 by now. Yeah, you have to deal with school, but it gets harder and harder as you go on and it just gets worse. So it's not one of those things. Life's confusing, that's all I know. And it's gonna get tougher and tougher and you have to start getting a job and start doing house payments and everything. It's, it's gonna be a rough life. And that's just something I'm not ready for, guys. I don't know what I'm doing yet. And I'm sure I'll learn, and I'll get better at making life choices and everything, but this is all new to me, so it's kind of weird to know just like, I am getting older, and that's it's something new. And I don't like getting older, I want to just stay a kid as long as possible, because I have to start getting into stuff, and it's just going to get so much more annoying, and... Creativity is going to go away, so I'm going to start losing interest in stuff like toys and all that. I mean, I'm not really into toys anymore. I can learn video games, but 
stuff like that, like having creativity, being able to play with toys, that's in an all go way. Like I still have some mind to do stuff. Not creativity, what's the word? Like imagination. There we go. And I still do have some imagination, like I can think stuff good pretty pretty good, you know, I can still uh, have those good old times and I noticed it's starting to fade away like as I got older and it went from me and this is a gaming having lightsaber fights in the backyard to uh, now where we just play video games and I guess pretty lame life but it is something I chose and it's one of those things I chose and I have to stick with it now because I put all this time in a video game and I, I don't just want to stop now because it feels like all that time would have just been a big waste but that much of my life in the video games and not have it come out and that's why I want to have YouTube for a job YouTube is one of those things that's like hey it's it just seems so fun because I've always been a major gamer and just doing stuff like this it just seems like it'd be the best option now obviously this might not work out and YouTube might not last forever but then I guess I'm thinking of other things I want to do and to be honest guys I don't know what I want to do besides this I could go work with my family's company, but I don't really want to do that. That is something I do not want to do. It's like a big no. I just don't feel like doing that ever, to be honest. And I guess I might have to, and I still can find other jobs, I guess, but it's just weird. I think that this might not play out like I wanted to. And it's just society. It's getting harder and harder, and more about getting judged and everything and that's just how it is today so the main thing is guys just don't let don't get judged don't let it even get to you if you're getting bullied or something just block it out say you don't care because you shouldn't care it I and mean, they're just trying to get to you just don't let it get to you and that's simple as that if you're getting made fun of for what you're into like if you're gay it's your choice and i don't see why other people are bothered by that it's something that you they chose to do, like if you're gay, you chose to do that. And it doesn't bother me because it's not my lifestyle. It's not like it's getting in the way of my life. So I just don't care. Because it's one of those things where it's not, if it's not getting in the way of my life, I don't care about anything. That's my attitude. If it's not getting in the way of my life, I just don't care. I don't even get into arguments or anything. I just don't care. But, I and mean, that's not always the worst thing to have. But I'm just saying, and also if you're like the bullying guys, you gotta think, if you're the bully, you gotta think about them. It may be fun, you may be having problems of your own, but just don't do it. It's not worth it. Because you're just gonna make yourself feel bad at the end. You're gonna regret it later on in life, and it's one of those things that you just want. So just don't even do it guys. It's not worth it. But, and again, I can't just change someone's mind, and I, I, yeah, I just... People have their own mind, and I wish I could change some people's mind, help get the world a bit better, but it's just how it is. <sighs> it's just, oh, well, I'm getting into, like, society stuff already in my first ever podcast, which seems weird. I thought I'd be, like, kind of struggling with what to talk about and just talk about the gameplay, but I'm not doing that at all. I actually found a good topic, and like I said, with the, just losing your imaginary stuff, like, not imaginary but imaginary like what's the word for this creativity no I already said that how did I not think of this word the ability to think of stuff and that would be fun imagination yeah imagination as that starts to go away you wanna like, get more expensive stuff like now it's all about having an xbox one and just it's expensive guys and a lot of people can't afford it so that's what really is not the best because it is expensive to have an Xbox One, five hundred dollars. Actually, it's expensive now, but still. And just when you start to get into more expensive stuff, as we get older and our imaginary goes away, our imaginary, imaginary, yeah, that's such a weird word to say. We start. So, guys, sorry, my my stuff just crashed. But back under the topic, like you buy all this stuff to fill in that hole that you just don't have anymore, like imagination you don't have it as good and there's some people that can keep it but I just I lost it and I buy stuff to kind of get away from the reality of life kind of just getting away from being depressed 
anything like that. If you're having a hard time, like people usually just switch to gaming. They put their lives in a virtual world. And it's just something that it can be sad in a way. Like gaming, I think is fun. And that's I guess I probably do that too. And I just may not realize it. I probably put my world virtually because I can't handle the real life world. So I have to play video games to help me get past everything that happens the hard times and the good times you know it's just you have to let it I don't even know how to explain this just people put their time into this other stuff so they don't have to deal with the real life stuff and I'm not gonna judge them because I do it too and it's I've always wanted to go outside and drink more but I just never pull myself to do it I can't stop playing video games and it sucks because if I could, I would stop soon, but I really can't. I, am, I think I put too much time into it at this point where it's just in me to want to play. And yeah, so I guess it's just I don't like the real world and I, I'm not afraid to admit it. I, I'm nervous. I'm scared to go into the real world. So, uh, I'm escaping it. I'm putting my time into video games so I don't have to worry about what is coming. So I don't have to get nervous. So I don't have to leave the house and do something that makes me scared. I can just stay in. And I don't like to get that nervous feeling. And that's what's happening with life when I have to get older and make decisions. And it's already starting to happen. It's just, just the earliest part. And I know it's nothing like major like I'm really, like, really nervous, but... I'm already starting to get there and I'm not even that old yet so just knowing how pressuring it will be in the future and how scared I could get is just kind of that's what's really getting me scared here so it's one of those things like what can you do about it it's you just gotta let life take its course and let gravity take you and it'll just do it itself just let gravity control it just do your simple part and the rest will come naturally that's what i think just make some decisions but just flow with it flow with what you think you like to do if you like the game just play games still try to be healthy and stuff but mainly if you want to focus on playing games do it it's nothing i don't even know what i'm trying to get at but it's it's sad when it Gamers are outcasts just because it's something we like to do, but really it's not as much anymore. A lot of people do play video games and it has gotten to be more of a natural thing, so it's not as bad as like probably as it used to be where if you played video games you were just a nerd. It's not really like that anymore, but there is still the, the people that will judge you for playing games and it, we usually don't that we don't we don't get judged at our school for playing video games, but I kind of do because people say I play too much, and it's more just because I'm good, so they think I play this much, and I do play a lot. I do play enough, but a lot of the times I'm just not even playing. I just sit on Netflix and stuff. But I've just naturally always been good. I started off at such a young age playing video games, and I knew at that age like people were always call me good and everything, so I knew. I might be a good player when I get older, so I focused and I put my time into it and I did become a good player. So that's just what's been happening and I don't know whether I wanna how I wanna take my Call of Duty career, like if I would ever want to join a major league team, if I don't want to uh, it's just another decision I just don't know how to make yet and I don't wanna know. I'm like I said I'm scared. I'm scared of what could come out of it. And I guess I just don't really know. I don't know anything and that's what sucks I'm too young to know stuff and I wish I was just so young where I didn't need to know anything where I could just do what I usually did and just had fun with life and I'm getting too into like society junk it's kind of crazy I'm just gonna go to Black Ops 3 and what I think about it so Black Ops 3 it's pretty hype I like the whole like idea of the zombies you know, I can't do this. I gotta keep talking about the society. It's just... It's something that's been going on with me, and I think it's a good topic, but... It's just... 
Life can be hard, guys, but you just never have to give up on it. Just always keep going. And you don't have to let stuff stop you. It's You don't have to let someone bring you down. It's pretty much your choice. And you get to you get to choose stuff in your own life. That's why it's your life. You get to choose. It's not something that you always have to do exactly what this person says. No, you choose your own life. And you choose how you, who you want to be. If you want to be different, then be different. If you want to follow the trend, then follow the trend. Just do whatever you think's the best. Not what other people think's the best, just what you think you like. Because that's the best way. It's just to do what you think. Do what you like, do what you think. That's what I do. I do what I like to do. And I do get judged, because I don't play any sports, so... People do always just kind of like... Joke around about that and everything. And... It just doesn't bother me that much because I made the choice and it's my choice, so I'm sticking with it. And just because a bunch of people joke around about me not being a sports doesn't stop the fact that I made a choice and I'm staying committed to it. So I'm never just going to stop what I'm doing. I enjoy it enough. And it's just insane what how people can get when they're afraid of being judged. You just don't get to be afraid of being judged. As long as you don't ever worry about being judged, nothing bad should happen. It's the people that do worry about getting judged. The ones that just kind of sit in fear like, oh, what about, are they going to judge me for this? Are they going to judge me for that? Say, just say every now and then, every now and then just say, who cares if they judge me? I want to wear this today. I like this style of clothes. And just do your own thing. And I probably sound like so cliche like everyone else in the world about this stuff, but just one of those things where you just gotta make your own decisions. And that's what I'm struggling to do right now. I'm trying to make my own decisions, but it's not easy. Making your own decisions is hard. It's hard work and and never be afraid to ask for help or something. If you need help, just ask. Always just ask. <sighs> Strong topic, holy crap. I'm getting too into this. I'm just gonna take a break for a second. So, sorry I didn't really explain much, but this is my first podcast, as you guys already know. They are one hour long. It'll probably be like a guest every three or two episodes. Just randomly, you know. Or just be random guests joining. And I'll make a playlist for this so you guys can watch all the podcasts. And mainly my main goal is just to not like stop talking. Otherwise, it's just kind of like... It's... I can't like really talk about the gameplay. I, I'm watching it right now. I can see my own gameplay. I see what I'm building right now. I'm building the roof of a little house right now, but I just don't like to talk about the gameplay because I feel like that would bore you guys. This podcast aren't about that. It's about stuff and just talking. I, that's why I did this, just so I could talk. But now I want to talk about another st- pretty strong topic for me is how I got into YouTube and why I still am wanting to do it and if I think it'll fail or not. And that's what's really starting to scare me is if this doesn't work out for me. I just put it all this money and time and commitment into this channel. And if it doesn't work out, it's going to be hard to get past the fact that it just... I don't know, like, how I got into YouTube is... I just watched a lot of YouTube. I watched Syndicate way back in the day when he was still doing his Minecraft projects. And I was very young when I was watching him. Really young, and my mom actually didn't like him watching him because I was so young and he was... A little bit more inappropriate, but I just kept watching them, and I enjoyed watching his videos. They made me laugh every now and then, so I would watch them. And I watched all of them until the end, and then I realized, hey, this looks like a fun thing to do. And then I realized, you get paid from it, and so I'm just thinking, as I got older, I thought about it, that this could be a job. And right now, it's not so much of a job, because believe me, I don't get paid anything. Like, nada. 
So I'm just doing this more as a hobby right now. It's fun. I want it to pay off at the end. So it's like, hey, if this would be a job, that would still be amazing. But I'm not fully expecting it to right now. I can't just expect it quite right now. It's something that I'm going to have to put a little bit more time and effort into it to see if it will actually pay off. Because you never know with the YouTube channel. It could, you could suddenly lose all your active subs. And that's what's scary about the social media is you never know like what could happen. So who knows if it'll work out or not. No, I'm expecting it to work out all fine. But if it doesn't work out, that's what I'm scared of. If it doesn't work out, what am I going to do? And that's what I've been talking about this whole time. But how I got into YouTube is really just from watching other people and realizing it looks fun. And then... I was like, hey, I'm going to start my own channel, and it's actually a channel called Cass and Clan is deleted, you guys can't go see it, but basically it just started off as me doing stupid videos, I wouldn't even have a screen recorder, I would just put my phone up to that, my computer screen, half the time so bad angling that you could barely even tell what was going on, but I just did it because it was fun, I got like two views, I would get so pumped, I remember one of the times I got 20 views and I about lost it, I thought that was the coolest thing ever, Never gained past 7 subs, but that one never really bothered me back then. And then, yeah, it was just it was something simple. So, we just did fun little stuff, and then I realized I better commit more to this. And then, as I watched This Is A Gaming Do It, my cousin, I realized he's actually got good recording equipment. He was growing, and I'm just like, maybe I could get good recording equipment and grow too. So then I started getting good equipment. And it took me a long time because I had really unlucky luck. Like, no matter what, nothing would ever work out. I'd be broken, and I just had bad luck. But then I did start to get it, and now I'm at where I'm at. I got gear I can record. No excuse, besides not uploading. Actually, today it almost didn't want me to upload, but I got it out anyways. But, now I've got everything I need. I can't really complain about stuff. I mean, my Elgato recorder is still pretty glitchy sometimes because... I don't have the best computer like it's a good computer that can run just fine but when I have a bunch of other stuff open then it can't but and again that could just be the god of software itself so I really don't know but yeah can we test it then I gotta go sign for like five seconds okay it's good okay you guys can't hear that then but um I just don't way I really got committed into doing YouTube is I just had fun with it. I would upload, I would enjoy uploading. And it was more at the time where it was just simpler. Like, you would just record a video and not even edit it, just quick toss it up and it would feel good because you got a video up. And now I still do feel that way. Like, if I get a video up and it's all edited good, I feel so good. And then when it gets good views, that makes me so happy. I just, like... It makes me realize why I'm doing this again. Because there's some days where it just it does nothing goes well. I don't really get good views. Some dislikes. And then I feel like, why am I even doing this? And there's days where I get good stuff. And I'm just like, hey, I know why I'm doing this. I have fun with it. And it pays off. It When you get good stuff, it makes you feel happy. When you get more subs, it just... It's big. And it, it's something that you have to have fans for. So you guys do mean a lot. And, I mean... The other word I can say is, whenever YouTuber says this, I can't do it without you guys. And as a fan, I never really understood that at first. I'm like, I don't get it. Like, they can do it without me. And I gotta remember, just like, oh crap, they actually can't do it without me. I'm the one that subs. Because back then, when I watched YouTube, didn't even sub. I just watched videos. Which isn't that bad. I mean, you don't, it's not always about the subscriber count. It's about watching their videos, helping them out, and supporting them. And I always watched the same guy. I watched him, like, Back in the day when I played zombies, I was a major glitching fan, so I'd watch so much glitch videos. And I thought those were really cool and funny just to see how the zombies were. I don't know. And then the DS era came, and then I kind of like just didn't even focus on watching YouTube anymore. I just gamed on my DS, played Pokemon for hours and hours. So that's when I just never stopped playing Pokemon. And that got to be a really bad habit where I would master that game. It was so much level 100s, and I would just put my whole life into that, and then I switched over to console gaming. So I got more into bigger stuff, and I already had a PS2, but I got a PS3 for my for Christmas. And I actually complained for the longest amount of time, like, hey, I wanted an Xbox 360, why'd you get me a, a PS3? And I was kind of a jerk, like, it's 
you know, when you're a kid, you don't get what you want, and you kind of be a jerk about it because you're a kid, you don't really understand the idea of hey, it's a gift. But I didn't really understand that, so I'm like, I was kind of mad and upset that I got a PS3, and then I played on the PS3, and I realized PS3s are really fun. I got Black Ops 2, and I just love that game. I fell in love. On like first, I just actually I found Black Ops 1 before Black Ops 2. Sorry. So I got Black Ops 1, and I fell in love with that, and I played Zombies. And right as I got that game, probably like in the summer after that, I was in probably in like third, fourth grade, thirdish, we were like almost in fourth grade at that time. So I almost was in fourth grade, and I remember getting around 50 on Kino with my older cousin. Not this is a gaming, but the Rocket Miner, and I felt accomplished. It was like I felt so good about myself. I did it like, again. I got 250 again on solo, so I did it all by myself, and that made me feel really good about myself, and it was easier. And I'm just like, and that's when I grew to the love for zombies, but I actually can't play zombies because I sold all my older ones to get the new, to get new consoles, but I, uh, that's when I developed my love for Call of Duty, and I put a lot of time into it, and that's when I got addicted, I started playing local bots, and I fell in love with that, playing local bots was amazing, I would play so much matches, there was a point where I got grounded from that, and I was in like 4th grade, and that's when, it was risky, if you got yelled at, it was big back then, it was like, it wasn't like, oh, I just got yelled at. No, it was like scary when you got yelled at as a kid. So I got yelled at and got my stuff taken away for getting one pink slip. And then I remember sneaking it. I still had it and I would put like my blanket over my TV and I'm pretty sure my mom knew. I don't know. If she didn't, I was, must have been pretty sneaky about it. But it was like, it was a small TV, probably like even less the size of my computer screen. And I have a small computer screen, probably like 28 inch or something. Not 28. Oh god, like 14, I don't even know. Don't know. Yeah, don't know. Okay, but, so, um, so then I, like, had that really small TV, like, it was just teeny, and then I would kind of, like, play Call of Duty when I wasn't supposed to, I would just get on the Black Ops one and go on the bots, you know, just play it cautiously, and I would try to go for high runs, and I remember the small TV, because it had, like, a loud, loud ring noise, because it wasn't a flat screen. I remember also watching Family Guy in there, which I wasn't supposed to do, but that show made me laugh too. And it's not because of like the adult humor. As a kid, I didn't even understand that part. It was more like he far farted or something, and I got so I laughed so hard as a kid, just at the stupidest stuff, not actually at the real jokes, just at dumb stuff like that. So yeah, I guess that kind of attracted me as a kid, even though I didn't even get the real jokes. So. I was watching that, so I was doing a lot of bad stuff at that age, and I was just, not really bad stuff, stuff I wasn't supposed to be watching and doing, it was like, oh yeah, I was just watching Family Guy, it was means with me playing Black Ops, but I did it anyways, because I just, I love those two things, and then Black Ops 2 came on, and that's when I would say the obsession started, where I just played overly too much Call of Duty, like, I would get home, and play the entire night, and I did that for about like two years in Black Ops 2, which is just insane. Don't even think I went to the 3 Actually, I did play a little bit of the 3 too. Big fan of the survival mode. But with them, when I got MW3, I didn't have Wi-Fi yet, and I went the longest time without Wi-Fi. And with Wi-Fi, you don't really know how great it is if you don't have it. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it's like, oh yeah, I can live without it. But once you have Wi-Fi, and if you were to lose it, you would understand the struggle of not having it. So, I couldn't really play anything on MW3 because they didn't have bots at the time. And you could play survival, but it was like, playing alone sometimes, I don't know. And then I remember getting World at War, same thing, didn't even realize I couldn't play bots. Pretty sad about that. So then, I remember that war, I don't even know what I, th I think I just played the campaign. But I remember World That War as a kid, that game would scare me because of like the weird music. And uh, back, uh, let's go back around the like 3rd or 4th grade-ish age, I was, I would play Black Ops 1 Zombies and I had a lot of the map packs and everything, so I played all the older maps. And, I remember Brooked, that map especially, the Insane Asylum. That map scared me as a kid. I always just, I said I just didn't ever want to play that map and I didn't like it, but the true thing behind the map is I was just terrified of it because it had a lot of creepy sounds and everything. Wasn't a fan of, so I just never played the map and never got good at it. And 
I still haven't played it to this day. Well, I've played it, but not really a lot. So, yeah. And I don't know why I just never got into that game. Pretty weird. Anyways, well, what are we looking at there? Sorry. So, I don't know what I'm doing in the game here right now, but we're about 30 minutes in the podcast halfway, and I'm doing good, but. So, Black Ops 2 was in the obsession that happened, and then I would have to say, starting to catch back up here. This is where we're starting to get more into, like, the present time zone area. I got my Xbox One for Christmas. Actually, I started off with the PS4. I was a PS4 lover, so I was playing Ghost on the PS4. And then Ghost is when I even started to play more than Black Ops 2. And I loved Ghost. It's my favorite game. Uh, I think Vance Warfare is now, because Vance Warfare is a great game. I basically just fall in love with every new Call of Duty, and I just don't like when people hate on new Call of Duty because you don't even think about how much time they probably put into that game too. So you already got to think with that too. But I enjoy the games, and I'm pretty pumped for the next one, and I know I'll like it even if people say it's a bad game. I still love it because I'm the kind of guy that will do the campaign, zombies, and multiplayer. I'll do them all. I don't. I'm not sick of one of them. I'll do an Exo Survivor. I can pretty much play anything that Call of Duty comes up with because I always think they're really fun. So I never really get bored of Call of Duty, and I think that's the main reason why I don't like Extinction, some people didn't like that, but... And I think that's why I'm so good with playing with new games and everything, so I always just enjoy it. I never take the time to, like, pick out all the bad stuff, like, oh, the graphics are kind of dark and everything. I don't do that. I, like, look at the game, I think it's fun, and I play it. Now, obviously, if I were to go back to the old games and look at the graphics, I'd probably kind of judge them a little bit, but other than that... Not really, I do play a lot of World at War custom zombies and everything, and some of the maps don't have the best graphics, and you can trust me on that. But, so those don't really bother me, so it's not like a thing where I just pick out all the bad stuff, like glitches. I don't care about glitches. Some people hate when people glitch. I don't mind it, because I think it's sometimes fun to do on occasions. And, yeah, I, I think it, they can be fun if you're not abusing it, and like going under the map, and everything like that as long as you're not abusing it it's not too bad same with like mods it can be cool and people with mods can be really fun but then there's the people with the mods that just turn on god mode and they just go from there and pretty much just play like a normal match but then there's the people that just have make fun lobbies and everything I just you don't want to be those people that make like the hardcore modders the ones that just get in invincible spots and kill you because those are the ones that really bother me not the ones that just not have fun with it so, other than that, modders aren't too bad. Obviously, there's some of the old games I wish that wouldn't have gotten modded so bad. I know Black Ops 2 is starting to get modded quite a bit, and I don't care about that game, to be honest. It doesn't really bother me. So, the fact that Black Ops 2 is modded, I honestly just don't care, guys. I'm sorry, I just don't care. So, that game can get modded, I guess. And, yeah, I don't know, like, what I think about modders, I guess. It'd be cool to have a mod menu for like the Xbox One, but I don't think you. I think it's a lot harder than a 360, just for the fact that it's new console. They kind of blocked it more on what you can do with it, so it's not as easy to get mods. And eh, that's probably the best thing. I know they're bringing back old games, backwards compatibility. I'm looking so forward to play the old games that I played as kids. Even just getting a stupid game like Ratchet and Clank, I wouldn't mind. I think that's it. PlayStation exclusive though, not too sure. Who knows, hopefully it's not, but I enjoy games like that. The old games that I can go back to and play and just have a good time. Games that you know they're really good and classical when you go back to them, even though they're bad graphic and probably not like set the best, and you can just have fun with them. And that's the games you gotta keep. Like those are the games that I miss. The ones Okay, I'm like, I just miss my childhood. Just playing like Ratchet and Clank. I miss those days. Playing Ratchet and Clank, that game I got addicted to, and just childhood, it's, it's crazy how life works. I don't even want to try to think about everything in life that happens, it's too confusing. You just gotta go with it, that's what I think. And basically if something bad happens, you just don't let it bring you down. Try to get back out there and just enjoy life. Basically, just enjoy life. Even if you are not the most popular, you can still enjoy your own life. They don't have to, you don't have to have like 
the popular kids and all this to have a good life. You can just enjoy friends and everyone can always get a friend. There's always someone out there for you to have, be friends with. There's just always remember that there's always someone that'll be your friend. You just gotta find them. And you gotta find your true best friend. Because once you find your best friend, guys, those are the ones that won't backstab you or anything. Those are the ones that you gotta just accept and say, hey, these are my best friends. And I think I have one of those right now. I'm not counting Parker though because he's my cousin. And he probably would be the one to backstab me. So, <laughs> yeah, he would. I know he would. I need to take out one of my headphones. My ear is starting to hurt. Holy crap. Then again, it's good to have it in there because I start I talk louder because I don't think I'm already talking loud. And it's a podcast. I need to talk loud. It's one of those things. I'm talking for an hour straight here, guys. So uh, it's to give me props for that. I'm not stopping. And I'm just gonna keep going. But it's just going back to my childhood days, having white saber fights with Parker and just the small stuff can entertain you so much. Just like having a nerf war. How like cool that was like they realize oh it's just a bunch of plastic darts. And that's what you do when you get older. You can't just pick stuff apart that you used to do and it's just I wish I just wish that it could be a kid forever and that it would just never go away. That's just not the case. I'm bound to grow up and I have to start making my own decisions now. Getting back more into the society stuff and making my own decisions it's a big responsibility you can't you gotta decide whether hey I don't want to smoke hey I don't want to do this and I I don't want to smoke by the way you just gotta decide it's all up to you you get to choose and that's what's so hard you get to choose if you want to drink alcohol and drink and you gotta choose mainly guys I'm telling you say no just say no don't do it it's not worth it it's really not so just always say no to the bad stuff. Now there's stuff that's like, hey, this could either be good or it could be bad, and that's the stuff that's confusing. Like you don't know, and I know it's getting harder and harder to avoid like doing stuff these days. Like bad stuff is, it's just peer pressure is bad these days. So far, I've been able to stay away from it, but then I don't have to leave my house staff or face that problem, which is one of the benefits of being a gamer. But it's just. It's it's insane to think that I have to make other choices. It's not like someone says no and yes for me and now it's me. It's me saying no, it's me saying yes. It's me choosing whether I want to do something. And usually it's your parents, like your parents always choose like, no, you can't go do this. Yes you can. And when you get older when your mom says no to it, you going to a party and junk which that's what parents prefer to say no to that stuff. When you get older, you raise. It's your choice, and you just still gotta. You gotta go with it with your mom and say, just you know, it, it's confusing, and you just don't want to fall for that kind of stuff. Just say no, and like obviously, there's some parties and you can go to as long as it's not like. I don't know. I'm trying to sound like a mom now. I'll just stop with that. I just don't like wanting that to get older and knowing that everyone else can get older and I don't even know what I think about life. It's it's confusing. It's complicated, you can't change it, just go along with it. Flow with it, like I said, just just go along with it. It's always the easiest path for me, just go along with it. So, it's basically what I do is I just flow. I just go with the rhythm, go with what people say is bad and good, and I, I follow the rules. If someone says that's bad, then it's bad. Don't do it. I guess I just flow. I'm like water. I just free flow. And sometimes there's waves in your life. You just have to, you have to deal with some stuff. Like, that's not always just a perfect river flow for me. There's, it gets to be rough sometimes, and... You know, it's meant to happen. It's life. It's there for a reason. But it's cool. Just do what you gotta do. You think it's more sad than Minecraft music? I don't know why. 
It's one of those things that's just like... It's so beautiful. It's just beautiful. That's all I can say. It's beautiful. And it's beautiful in every way. So tell me guys, guys think about these podcasts. If anyone's even watching this far in. I want to know if it's like, these are cool and fun to watch and... Yeah, I guess. They might be fun to watch. I don't know how much people are actually going to stay watching an hour-long video of me just talking about random stuff. Hmm. It'd actually be interesting to see if you guys watch it in this far. Comment down below Minecraft. Yeah, if you guys watch it in this far, just say Minecraft down in the comment section. And then... Yeah. Just put Minecraft. I want to know how much of you guys actually watch this part, Ryan. Because... I wonder if this is be something that's popular. Because these guys... This... These podcasts take a while to set up. So I have to upload the hour gameplay. It's really confusing. But it's worth it. Because I like just having moments where I can just sit and talk. And tell you guys what I think about... Everything that's going on. And just to kind of explain if I have any problems going on. If something is rough in my life. Or... You guys can comment back, and I can just kind of have a good conversation with you. And I'm wondering if I should start live streaming these, so you guys can really start to talk with me and, and tell me if anything's going on in your life, and we can just have a fun conversation. Because talking is always fun for me. I it's hard to like talk and play gameplay and everything when you're streaming. It's so much easier just to be able to talk and just have fun. Because when I talk, it just seems so much simpler, better time. Better time. It's. I don't have to worry about like moving around my control and everything. It's. I don't know. But. With society, it's. It's all about them like trying to get you ready for this. Like, so this is what school is for. It's trying to get you ready for this. I don't see what, how school is even getting ready for this, to be honest. But it, apparently it is. And it's getting you ready for something that. It's hard to handle, and that's what they're trying to do for you, and as much crap as I give on school, it's one of those essential things that you have to do. And, I mean, I wish I didn't have to do it, that's for sure, but you don't always get what you wish, and that's, I wish you could do that, but I wishes don't just work. So, uh, they expect you just, they kind of just, like, toss you out there, I think. They say, go get a job and all this, and... I mean, for some people it's simple, some people just go and get a job, for some people it can be harder, some people, uh, jobs may not be open and it could be hard to get a job because that is a problem with some people, right, it's just, it's not easy getting a job and there's so much people trying to get jobs these days and, I mean, it's nothing like the Great Depression or that used to be, but it's still like, something like, you gotta get a job and that's what I don't, I, mean, I don't like it, but it's, you gotta do what you gotta do to get it. So make it out there and I'm assuming I'll have to work a few years in my life before I actually like you know getting something out of YouTube enough to live off of it now I'll probably have to work for something I don't know where I'm gonna work but that's something that you have to find out that's another thing about what you just got to find out what you want to do and do what you mainly want to do don't just do some job just because you get paid good or something if you're not having fun it's just it seems like you don't want to go to work because it's boring and all that then try finding something fun or try finding a job that you enjoy more and like I said then again I don't really know anything guys I'm still a kid I don't know really how the world works and if that's the right way to live and that's something I need to figure out and it's hard to figure out my brain's like imploding with all the information Talking about stuff I don't even really know about. But. Hmm. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I just. They have a new update on Xbox One and probably like every other console. Basically, it added a bunch of new stuff, a lot of cool stuff actually. Um, Like glass planes and a few other cool things, but. Either way, I was kind of open. They just had more commands or anything. I was kind of open to be a better update. And PC is getting their new combat update. And I was playing the snapshot. And it looks like such a good update. 
There's so much stuff, and it looks, it's all smoothly. It's not overpowered, like, having two swords in one hand. Or having a bow and a sword in one hand. It's not really overpowered, like, you can use them both at once. There's an off key where you have a main hand, and you can quick flip them out faster, so you can get to your bow faster. But it's nothing overpowered, like, you can swing your sword and then also pull bow after your bow. It's not like that, which a lot of people, I think, are assuming it's that way. It's not. It's not overpowered. So don't be too nervous about that. And why do I keep placing an iron? I don't know where I'm doing with that. So don't be worried about that update. Just defeating the purpose. It's really not. And guys, if you are out there watching right now and you want to do YouTube. Hey guys, so basically, sorry, it crashed one more time, but I have like never, um, went into someone's video and disliked it. And I may ask, why haven't you just gone into someone's video and looked at this? Like, I don't like to demotivate people. I don't want them to think, oh, I suck or anything. Even if it's not the best video, guys, it's one of those things like, yeah, let's just dislike you because if you guys are bigger and you make at 1k or such or so, you know, you're a bit bigger on YouTube. You may forget one, what one dislike is like. It is just the worst feeling ever getting a dislike, even how I am, because I don't get that much likes and getting a dislike really does suck. So, you guys, the ones that don't do YouTube, you are the ones that probably dislike videos the most. The people that don't understand the struggle. You guys need to actually post videos until you realize how hard YouTube actually is. It's not something simple. And, yeah, some videos might not be the best, but you just have to kind of like deal with it because that's just what YouTube is. There's some people that just can't accomplish it, and I almost like can't play Xbox Play. Oh, it looks like a charm. There we go. So. Anyways, why does that look like it's in super speed? I don't even know, but just you guys need to think before disliking a video and how much it could actually mean for them to get a dislike because it is annoying to get disliked and it's tough to deal with it. I mean, getting disliked is one of the worst feelings ever. No matter how big you are, if you get a bunch of dislikes, it's just kind of like, ooh, I just got a bunch of dislikes. That means not a lot of people liked my videos. It's not like the fact that it's a liking your video, it's just a lot of people that just didn't like my video. It's something that I put a lot of hard work into trying to get people to like it, and they just don't like it. And then you make you kind of think, like, am I doing something wrong? Am I doing something wrong with YouTube? And then you guys just know there's just some people that like to dislike it. Even though I put a lot of work into it, people dislike it. And it sucks because, you know, it's just bound to happen. You're bound to get dislikes and you can't really do anything about it. And it sucks. It truly does suck. And there's not much to that. I mean, disliking something can be a lot more than just, oh, I disliked it. They probably don't care that much. It might actually affect them more than that because doing YouTube is tough. And when people make it harder for you, people hate on you, it's not fun. If you get a different YouTuber to hate you and he sends his fan base against you, and that has happened to a lot of people. Where they get in like arguments on YouTube and then they send their fan bases against each other. If you're one of those people that are in the fan base and you're told to go dislike someone's video and give them hate comments, don't do it. Just don't. I know that's not a lot of cases where that happens, but if it does, just don't do it. It happens usually around people that are smaller and like thousands, not in the 10Ks yet. So, it's not like something that happens to our big YouTubers. But if it does happen, you know, it just, uh, it's so hard to explain because I just can't even explain it. Just don't do it, guys. It, it could hurt someone's feelings. 
Yeah. I really could. Something that you guys do it. It could just mean so. It could be the littlest thing. It just like a little joke or something. But it could really hurt someone's feeling. You know, like if someone's on the bigger side making a joke with their weight, it may seem like something small. Like, oh yeah, they probably won't care. You don't know if they care or not. That's the thing. Because a lot of people will just try to joke around with you and be like, yeah, haha, uh -huh, like they'll have a laugh with you in. It's some of it's fake. Some people can joke about their own stuff, but there's a point where after they joke too much, it becomes a little like unnecessary. You no, know, yeah, you can have a joke every now and then about someone, but when you do it too much to the point where it's just repeatedly, that's not joking around anymore. That's bullying, and then you can't just say, "Oh yeah, I'm sorry for picking on you." You can't just say you're sorry after you've already done it. You just hurt their feelings. And sorry is too late. It's, just don't say it. Think about what you're going to say before actually saying it. Because it can end up a lot worse than just... You never know on someone's feelings. It could be a lot worse. And that's what people don't understand. There's just some stuff that's just not worth even taking the risk. It could just be... I don't even know. I, I just get too into this like kind of social topic and everything. And... Another thing, like, if you have prank words and everything, like, yeah, there's a point where it's kind of funny. But... It can get to the point where maybe someone doesn't like it. And you could just keep going, then you kind of have to stop, and a lot of people won't stop, because it's prank words, and you should keep doing it. Prank words, you gotta stop if the other person doesn't like it. If the other person doesn't like it, it's abuse, kind of, like. It can be socially, like, cyberbullying or something. If it's a prank war, it can end up being cyberbullying, because if the person doesn't like it, then that's considered, like, bullying, you know, like, you're doing something mean to them. I don't like it, like, if you guys are close friends and everything, and you're having a laugh about it, like, oh, you just got me, you pranked me, then it's kind of funny, but, like, if the other person hates it, and they tell you to stop, and you continue to keep pranking them, it's, it's not good, you don't want to do that, but, there's also, like, a point where, like, you know, your friend will just say that they don't like it after you get pranked, they get pranked once, you know, just because they don't want to get pranked again that day, it's, in some cases, it's different, it can be different, but, if they're just saying, stop, dude, I don't want to be a part of prank wars, and I just don't like it, then just stop. Just don't even try, just stop. It's not anything that's even cool doing, I mean. It's cool if, you know, if it's fun, and, like, everyone's enjoying it, then it's fun and everything. But if the person's not enjoying it, and it just keeps happening repeatedly, and they just keep getting, like, doing it. And you guys are laughing at them and everything, that's like picking on them more than actually is just pranking them, like, oh yeah, I'm just pranking you, well, sometimes it's too far, sometimes it's not pranking, it's just bullying, and you gotta make sure, like, you're not doing that to your friend, you gotta make sure you don't overdo it, because if you're doing it to your friend, you, you may not even realize it, and you just gotta say, oh, well, you know, you just gotta say, I'm sorry, I won't do it again, and just stop, because you can be forgiven, but there's, there's a point where you can't be forgiving, guys, so don't just think that sorry will always work, because it won't always work. And that's... That's 100% true, guys, so don't always expect that you can just do something and say sorry and it'll work, but... At least always... Say sorry if you do something bad. If you know you did something bad, and you're refusing to say sorry, you are like the douchebag people. You are the ones... That really shouldn't be, like... I could just, I don't want to say anything mean to the people because I feel like I could be offending some people here. And then I don't want to be offending anyone trying to say about how I feel different people. But just, if you do something bad and you know it, just say sorry because it's something like, it's such a small world word that could mean so much to someone just by saying it. No matter how stupid if it is, like, now sorry works on small stuff, like, Hey, I'm sorry for like maybe breaking something if it was cheap and it was on accident and everything. 
then sorry will work, but if you like should have hurt their feelings or then your friend and stuff, then sorry isn't always gonna work and that's another thing you can't always just think that sorry will work for you and Xbox Stop listening. Xbox pause. Okay, Xbox play. Okay, guys, we're running on gameplay. I had to quick check that. If you guys are wondering how I'm getting this gameplay, you can see my great catch and all that. This is a private video on my channel, so you guys can't actually watch this. This is for my podcast purposes only, so it's no one else can watch this gameplay. Said to me. And it's I managed to talk to this entire podcast pretty good. Which is weird because I'm still new to YouTube. I'm still like I'm not perfect at it, so I would So guys, sorry, I crashed one more time, which will be the last time this crashes, but we are at the end of the podcast. Uh, that was actually really quick. It seemed pretty quick. It's like 1 a.m. now, but it's seemed pretty quick. One hour pocket, there you go. So make sure like you check out the second podcast. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Going on another topic, but this time we're gonna have two people to talk about other stuff. And it's gonna be really cool to see what this gaming has to say on this podcast and what he wants to talk about. Because he's gonna be our next guest guest type visitor. But I wanted our first one because this is gonna be my kind of series. So I wanted just to be solo on the first one, just to kind of be alone, just so you guys know. And I think I, I don't know why I stopped the gameplay, but it's not frozen. Because the clouds are moving up there, but yeah, it just all the stuff we talked about today. You guys can say whatever you want, but I just I got a little carried away. It was fun though. I had I enjoyed talking about stuff that was happening and it made it easier. <sighs> Can't believe all the stuff I just talked about. And some of it was more personal than I usually get with my videos. Which is actually pretty cool to see that it's getting personal. And it wasn't just a like, kind of blabbering on about random gameplay. But uh, I think I'm just showing off angles of the house. I just built that whole house on cam for this video to prove if I was a builder or not. And I'm obviously I'm not because that house isn't looking that great. And then I'm looking at it again, looks decent. I don't know why I'm still staring at it, but it looks decent. I wonder how much gameplay I have left. Xbox, pause. Xbox play. Two minutes. Two minutes of gameplay. Okay, I shouldn't have ended off so soon. Shouldn't have ended off so soon, but I don't even know what to talk about. Now I'm running out of stuff. You see, this would have been like the whole podcast if I hadn't thought about a good topic. It would have been kind of like good. I don't. I can think of a couple of topics, but nothing that's only two minutes long. That's my struggle here. Is finding something I can talk about for two minutes. I don't even know what I want to talk about. I just want to talk about. I'm going to say. I'm going to say this guy's life is rough. I managed to feel all of these, like, mixed kind of emotion type things about life in this one podcast. And I'm not even really that far into life. So the fact that I thought of this much stuff to talk about, and it's pretty cool. To know that even I'm starting to get the stress of real life, and it's just knowing I'm not even a kid anymore. That's what's getting to me, too. Just knowing that. I, should, just, I knew I was going to be a kid forever, but. I'm not sitting in the home room. So there you go, it's just ended. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Make sure to like, subscribe. Peace, guys, and see ya. Bye bye.